Hi, my name is Angel, and I'm part of Google's policy education efforts. My role is to help you better understand our advertising policies and also share the challenges you face with our internal teams. In this video, I'll explain and provide examples of the destination requirements policy, which is one of the editorial and technical ads policies. If you want to learn more about the editorial and technical requirements ads policies, check the video linked in the description box below. Please also make sure to review the full destination requirements policy in the Help Center article linked below. We want to deliver ads that are engaging for users without being annoying or difficult to interact with. So we've developed editorial requirements to help keep your ads useful and appealing to users. We've also specified technical requirements to help users and advertisers get the most out of the variety of ad formats we offer. The destination requirements policy is designed to give consumers the best possible experience when they click on an ad. This means that an ad's destination URL must match what the ad is promoting, offer unique value to users, and be functional, useful, and easy to navigate. What are ways to determine if you're adhering to this policy? Let's take a look at some examples of things to double check. One of the most common violations we see is when the destination URL is not working or accessible. It can be frustrating for a user when they click on an ad looking for a specific product and they are directed to a page that does not work properly. Sometimes sites are simply broken or have errors that need to be worked out. So make sure your destination URL is actively welcoming users. Remember that while the URL may work for you, it may not be loading for all users and Google web crawlers. If you're using tracking templates, make sure the template leads to the same content as the final URL. The landing page is where people actually end up after passing through any redirects associated with the destination URL, final URL, or tracking template that you set. Sometimes the URL isn't crawlable by Google Ads, meaning that Google cannot properly index your web pages. If this happens, Check your website or app settings to make sure that you aren't blocking Google Ads from crawling your content. You can also use Google Search Console to see how to make your pages accessible and to check for crawl errors. Ads should also accurately reflect where the user is being directed, so make sure the display URL in your ad matches the destination or landing page that the user is taken to. For example, if your ad leads to a page within the example.com website, your ad should include example.com as a display URL and not a different domain like google.com. Remember, these are just some examples of the destination requirements policy, so be sure to review the entire policy article linked below to be fully compliant. Google Ads enables businesses of all sizes from all around the world to promote a wide variety of products, services, apps, and sites on Google and across our network. We want to help you reach existing and potential customers and audiences. When serving ads on Google, you're required to adhere to its policies. Ads that don't meet our policies will be disapproved and stop serving. Egregious or frequent policy violations may trigger the suspension of your account, and all the ads in your account will stop serving. As an advertiser, you can check for a policy violation in the policy manager of your Google Ads account. For more info on how to navigate the policy manager or appeal a decision, check out the video linked below. As a user, if you encounter a potential policy violation and would like to bring it to our attention, please report it using the form linked in the description box. I hope this video helps you better understand our destination requirements policy. Keep watching this playlist to learn more about our other advertising policies. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.